Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls Part 10. Uh, what am I cooking here? A whole lot of nothing, this is just decoration. Um, so yeah, you might recognize where we are, and I've finally broken tradition by not starting where we left off. Um, this is right below that cafeteria area on the way to the depths, and uh, this is where we picked up that uh, ember, if you remember. And the reason I'm here is that I want to show you guys a shortcut that we didn't take. Um, it's right behind where the butcher is, um, all the stuff is broken here unfortunately, but you'll see a pile of boxes right here, and over here is his little garbage chute, and um, you know, you'd be landing a pile of bones and bodies, which has a lot of implications, but that puts us right above that big rat where we fought. So, um, you know, if you want to do this a little faster than what we did ourselves, where we waded through the labyrinth of the depths and all that, you can just drop down here, kill the rat, and then take the other shortcut right down there. But uh, right here you'll get a spider shield. And that's a pretty handy shield for this area, because this thing actually has really good poison resistance, um, which I don't actually think it says on here. But basically, anything that hits us with poison, this shield will actually be able to block it. So we're going to use that for this up and coming area, um, which will become a lot more obvious as the episode proceeds. But anyway, um, if the rat was still alive, you can get him with a plunging attack, and depending on your weapon, you can kill him right away. But as you can see, you know, if you just drop there and then immediately drop down here, like that's the whole level. Um, if that's the first time you do it, I recommend you know go up there, open up the staircase, and then your shortcut's ready and the level's like opened up. But uh, you know we've already fought the boss, so we're just gonna press onwards. So that takes us over here to Blight Town, which is where we're going next. So as the color turns green, let's um, make our way down and see what it has to offer us. Right out the gate, there's not too much, but finally we have our first host. Oh no! <laughs> oh man, I didn't even plan for that. That was that was rough. Okay, how fitting though, because we're gonna we're gonna have a rough time <laughs> in this area. Um, I'm hoping it's not gonna be too rough, but uh, we'll see. So we'll cut back to where we were. Okay, we're back. Um, leave our buddy here isn't wasting a second, so let's just uh, try to get the first move this time. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. Okay, that was close. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, these guys do damage and they hit hard, and if we kill them, um, then we can get their poop. Awesome. But they give a decent amount of souls, and they're not too bad as long as you're not angled at a bad spot like I was just there. So anyway, these guys, I think, no, our weapon does a lot. I'm wondering if we can kill them in one hit with a backstab. And if not, we come really close. Maybe this guy will let me backstab him. No, I'm not, I don't want to go too deep because if you notice in the back, there's uh, some more for enemies for us to deal with. All right, let's see here. This is, this is for science. Come on. And um, too, if you notice too, when he hits me with the club, when I have my shield up, I don't take any poison. So, our shield is doing a lot of work. Yeah, so, don't get the one shot, unfortunately, but two shots, I'll take it. Uh, let's see, he's not dropping anything. So over here, we're going to have these um, uh, just gross rat monster things. Which, they'll go down pretty easily, but oh, watch out for that attack. If you have your shield raised there... They'll jump on and then like bite your face. Not a fun time. So as we proceed forward a little bit, um, okay, yeah, right there. This guy's gonna be shooting blow darts at us, and his darts will. These are one of the few things in the game that can actually toxify you. So make sure you kill them. Oh wow, he got me. So toxic, yeah. Let me um, let me clear the area. But if you notice too, a few episodes ago. A few episodes ago I got poisoned, and it wasn't so bad, but look how fast my health is going down now. So I'm gonna go and use that blooming purple moss, which we found, which I only have one more of, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to be careful there. But uh, we will find a little bit more throughout the level. And uh, the other good news is that 
those blow dart guys, once you kill them, they're mini bosses, so they're not coming back. Um, which means if you spot one, make it your highest priority to finish him off. It'll make your life a lot easier. So down here we don't have anything too special, just another soul item, but it's definitely worth grabbing since it's not out of the way. Soul of Proud Knight, wonder what happened to him. Um, yeah, all these soul items, by the way, uh, what they imply is that the person, like, so depending on what the item says, that was a Proud Knight, that means at some point a Proud Knight sort of wandered down here and that was like the end of his story. <laughs> he just sort of curled up in a ball and died. And so, you know, when you get all those um, different items, like each one has like, you know, a small one, big one, a soul of this and of that, um, it's like a little bit of a minor storytelling there. It shows just how like dark the world of Dark Souls is. Um, so I didn't go on this bridge, by the way, because when you move on it, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna do that. <laughs> and we don't want none of that. Um, so I guess while I'm here, let's talk a little bit more about the level itself. Um, so Blight Town, like I mentioned, this is a uh, infamous level. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Let's not let him poke at us. Um, Blight Town is kind of infamous because it's this is when things get really rough. Um, you know, you might be coming down here cursed. You might be uh, there's a lot of poison, but most notably is that everything's dark and it's very confusing and easy to get lost. And you'll just you might find yourself going in circles a lot, which is uh, can be very annoying, <laughs> not a fun time kind of deal. And um, there was another issue too when the game sort of first came out where um, the frame rate was really bad in this level. Like, you would just be on top of everything I just mentioned, you're getting like 15 FPS and it's just like miserable time. But, um, yeah, that's why a lot of people, this is sort of where their Dark Souls story ended, which is um, kind of sad, but very understandable. <laughs> so uh, hopefully here I'm going to be able to showcase that Blight Town isn't all that bad. Uh, I think it's a pretty well designed level, I'd say actually, but I um, definitely uh, did not have a fun time <laughs> my first time either. So anyway, we're already at our first bonfire, uh, which is good news. I think we can level up, which we can, and I do want to get up to like... 14 or 15 intelligence will be good. I um, just want to get that out of the way because there's another magic character that we're going to need to have high intelligence for. So may as well just get it now. So let's see here. I do want to go back up where I came because we have a few more things to do up there. Uh, so there's that guy in the pod. He'll If you don't wake him up, he'll, he won't bother you. So we'll leave him be this time. But if we go this way... Um, I think what I want is up there. So let's drop here. See what we can find right here. Um, I hope I don't miss a few things. So here's another knight. A lot of knights down here. And if I take this ladder up here. And see, this is why you might get lost. Because if you don't... It, it, it can be very hard to see these ladders from a distance, for example. Um, so you kind of got to just know where to go. So yeah, here's the shadow guard set. Which, um, remember when we picked up the, the thief or dark set. Um, I said that that's like the half ninja set. Well, that's the real ninja set right there. <laughs> um, we're going to come across someone that actually uses it um, down the road, and he's definitely going to prove the whole ninja point. Um, so let's see, I think I can jump back here. And then, okay, here's the fire dogs. Ah, there's another one. Oh god, please don't kill me. Okay, wow. A lot of mercy right there. I should have been dead there, to be honest. Okay, so shadow set we got, which is good. Uh, we want what's over there, and that one can be a bit of a pain to get. So we want to climb back up where we came, and go in this way. There's a jump that we're going to have to make, and it's a bit of a sketchy jump, to be honest. And I don't expect I'm going to get it on my first try, but we got we to gotta get started, right? Um, okay, see, th this is where I start to really have trouble. Okay, here's the letter, and there's a guy on it. Awesome. Can you maybe not... Let's try this. Okay, 
okay, that didn't even kill him. Uh, probably won't be doing too much fire stuff. Alright, uh, really? Come on, sir. I need to fight you. Thank you. One more. Maybe. Okay, here he comes. Let's not show any mercy here. And they're out of here. Okay. With that out of the way, let's um let's see if we can make that jump I was talking about. So uh, if we make our way down here, right here, yeah. Uh, this is okay. I believe what we want to do is basically run onto that like piece of wood sticking out and then jump. Or there's no wall there and we're gonna fall. Um, either way, I'm gonna be brave, try to jump as far because usually I under jump. So let's see, uh, and you know, just for good measure, let's uh, be as lightweight as can be. Alright, wish me luck. Oh my god, I got it. Hell yeah. And our reward is the Iaito, which is a really cool weapon, which uh, we won't be able to use, because this requires 20 dexterity. Um, so since we don't have enough, I don't even know if this is going to work, but yeah. So that's the special attack for it, is... Um, Yaito is, I believe, I don't know if it, it's actually called Yaito, but something called Yaito is um, some sword art where you uh, where you don't just slash, where you actually like draw your sword and finish in one blow kind of thing. Uh, it's really cool. Um, I'm definitely not an Yaito master in real life, <laughs> so I may have butchered uh, how that works, but you get the idea. Um, and if you want to do that in Dark Souls, here's the weapon for it. Um, definitely a lot of fun if you're going for that sort of ninja approach, which I have done in the past and can definitely attest for how fun it is. And it goes really well with that shadow set that we just found. So down here we got a few more things to grab. Uh, okay, these guys will play nicely. And um, oh, another fun fact. That guy's weapon, which just disappeared, but uh, he was using a dead body with a sharpened spine as his weapon. <laughs> so you know, nice and nice and brutal there, as always. Uh, so here's some more poison cure for us, which is going to come in very handy. And heading back to say, oh god! So remember that rickety bridge from before? Well, this uh, that was easy mode. This is where things can get really ugly. And definitely take your time. I'm doing this. Oh boy. And another dog, just for fun. But they go down pretty easily. So yeah, our disadvantage with our build right now, right, we're like a heavy, slow-moving night guy. Uh, we're gonna like smack things dead pretty quickly. But, you know, in moments like that, we're probably gonna slip and fall and die. Um, I'm doing my best to not do that for you guys. But, you know, if it's your first time, don't, don't feel it. Like you failed if that happens. Uh, we're also very exposed to um, poison. Uh, we're making up for that a little bit with our shield. But um, yeah, I, by the end of the day, it'll be pretty manageable. So, okay, this is where I'm starting to get lost again. Um, I know my first playthrough, this, like this area specifically, like I got stuck down here and I just could not figure out where to go. And I may still not know. I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere. We're looking for a ladder. Um, somewhere, maybe? <laughs> oh god, was it back over there? I don't think so, because... How would that link back up? Alright, um, uh, this part may be getting fast forwarded. <laughs> Let's try going back this way, maybe. Gonna, oh my god. Almost slipped there. Now, I think... Okay, here's a ladder, maybe. God, I wish you could, like, slide up ladders somehow. Um, that would be some real janky physics, but... That'd be okay. Oh, okay, yeah, so this is where we go. Okay, yeah, I think that's what threw me off originally, was, like, I was trying to get up from over there, and just didn't make any sense. Okay, so, we're back here. Um, we're making pretty decent progress, actually. Um, where we want to go next is this way, with the bridge with the dogs. 
And we want to be careful here because somewhere around here there's a guy shooting blow darts at us. Yeah, the main enemies aren't too bad. I think he's up there somewhere. Yep, there he is. So let's uh, get some cover right around here. Okay, slice him up. Okay, now to actually get to that guy, I think is a little bit later on in the level. Um, yeah, okay, this is when things start to get confusing again. We still have all of this stuff to explore. Um, oh, and that thing right there. Uh, we'll be getting to. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Um, so let's see. Let's try going down this way first. All clear so far. Ooh, yeah. Items of progress. Another proud knight. Yeah, I guess um, the squad must have rolled up here and everyone got separated. Oh, yeah, come on, come on up. And then they all died on their own and no one lived happily ever after. <laughs> um, let's see. And um, if it's not obvious, all my episodes I'm uh, improving. <laughs> so I don't. I don't practice the level first or anything like that. Oh, I didn't know that guy was there. Which means I am just going in blind and having a bad time. Yeah. This is Sparta. Yeah, that was an awful. I should put way more enthusiasm into that. And I don't think he even died, I just noticed. So that's actually extra annoying. Because he'll probably be back next time then. So here's the eagle shield. Uh, this is an interesting shield. It's, uh, I think this is our first great shield. Uh, so a great shield, and they're like basically just bigger, they have more stability, and then instead of parrying, you do a shield bash, which uh, can be kind of cool. But the eagle shield is in a really unique spot. It's, um, it's like a lightweight wooden great shield. It doesn't even have a hundred block. So, um, it's got a very sort of unique usage. <laughs> I don't know, I've never used it, so I can't speak much for it, but I think it's more like if you want to be defensive but you still want to be lightweight, that's the shield for you. Alright, that's not even a waste time. Oh, I think that was the uh, the guy that we kicked off. He finally managed to die. So, <laughs> thanks buddy. Um, okay, no. Pick up the item. Yeah. Um, so let's see here. Uh, okay, right here. So this is, um, if we approach from this angle, we're going to have a bad time. Yeah, that thing, I don't know if it one-shots us, but uh, we can't even do damage from that way. But anyway, I think there's a ladder. Yeah, right here. Let's uh, climb on up and see what we can find. Yeah, this is... Ladder climbing simulator 2020, pretty much. Um, oh, here we're gonna find our buddy. Oh, he got me. Dang it. Whatever. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna equip that moss because we're probably gonna be needing it at least one more time. So, yeah, like I said, look at that. All that damage just from having to fumble through my menu. They will, uh, they will kill you dead real fast. Yeah, so if you're down here without blooming moss and you get toxic, then that's uh, that's pretty much GG right there. Let's uh, kick this guy off again. Really? Right, can I even like hit him now? Oh, okay, he's just gonna kill himself. <laughs> All right, so coming down this way, we're actually gonna be able to take on the uh, the squid thing. Um, so we can actually come up right to it, and he won't do anything to us. Um, so we're just gonna wail on him and kill him dead. And only two hits. Awesome. And I think, uh, okay, so this whole area, um, a lot of these enemies may not look it, but they're actually part demon uh, for reasons we'll get into once we uh, approach the bottom. Um, so yeah, right there was a really awesome pyromancy, which we'll definitely be using at some point, called uh, Power Within. And the way that thing works is really awesome. It's, uh, you essentially, you'll take steady damage as if you're poisoned, but you're gonna do a lot more damage overall. So it's a great way to, it's nice for bosses and, um, or just any situation where you just need to do a lot of damage in a very short amount of time for some reason. 
but you know it's a high risk, high reward kind of deal. Um, some more poop. I know nothing special there. Uh, so continuing onwards, um, we're actually getting a lot of the important stuff. Uh, I think there's just one more thing around here somewhere that we want to grab. It's actually going to be down here. So if we come down this way, uh, oh yeah. So we want to go down there, and I think if I just drop and go for it, we can get it. Uh, oh, nice. That went very smoothly. Here's the whip, and that's a dex item, which we might actually be able to even equip here, just so I can whip around. Uh, yeah, it only requires 14 dexterity, 7 strength. Um, oh no. <laughs> you know what? Um, I think that's going to be a good way to end the episode right here. Um, this is a bit of a shorter episode compared to what I've been doing lately, but you know what? We still have uh, another good chunk of the level to go, so let's call it there. Uh, guys, I'll see you next time. Uh, for now, let's uh, quickly take a look at the whip, just like a little... Yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. So um, thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.